the mask hey. of the phantasm of uh, Spider-Man. Yeah, oh, here my we God. go. So, uh, Gary, I didn't right. realize we were going live. That's all right. We are keeping this bad boy in the video because I don't care. Uh, but here we are, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Gary got some news. Spider-Man No Way Home crossed one billion over Christmas, over Christmas weekend. And uh, it did it in 11 days. And it also is the third fastest movie to reach one billion. And this is, you know, in the face of all the pandemic stuff and, you know, a lot of things that people are saying, like, this is why people won't go back to theaters, but people showed up, man. And, and to reach 1 billion, people had to go back for more, like myself. Um, new people, word of mouth, had to get people out there. And here's the thing, 1 billion and still without China and still without Japan and New Zealand, which some of these countries, Australia, which they're which they're getting their release here in the next month, in the next couple of weeks, um, they're getting their release of Spider Man No Way Home. So it did it without those countries. So this is one that if it does get a release, I don't, I don't, I think it might reach two billion if it gets those release. Like I know it's going to get some of those. If it gets China, I think this could reach two billion. But uh, Spider Man No Way Home breaking more records, man. What do you think? This is the movie that just refuses to quit. It keeps giving us reasons to talk about it. And mm -hmm. I thought last week would be our last one for a while until we review, review the Blu-ray. And Spider-Man's like, oh, I'm not done. It's yeah. a billion, you know. Uh, yep. People spent their Christmas going to see this movie either for the first time or for the second or third time. And mm -hmm. rightfully so, because it is a great movie. And yep. Yeah, I'm, we I'm went. So glad we're sitting here talking about this movie being a billion and not Fast and the Furious nineteen, or, right? You know, whatever. Right. But look yeah. At that. yeah, yeah. And I'm pulling up our graphic because I made it, but whatever. Um, but yeah, yeah. Th that's what it looks like. That's what Spider Man's doing right now. He's just swinging through money. And, <clears throat> and here's the thing: like I went on Christmas Day to the movies to take the kids to see Sing Two, and uh, we'll talk about that on another later date. But I took the kids to see that. The theater was packed. But because people were still seeing Spider Man, so I was like, "This thing's gonna is making so much money; it's ridiculous." And uh, and yeah, same man, like for me on Christmas Eve, we went Christmas Eve to see Sing Two, and it was yep. the same. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This this thing refuses to die. Like I said, breaking records, third fastest movie to reach it. Um, did it in eleven days. Like this is, like this thing is a phenomenon. This thing is it's, it's the movie is an event like Endgame, like Infinity War. I mean, it, it really is a big event, and people said. The heck with COVID, the heck with whatever's going on. I don't care. I'm going, you know, and, and they are and they're and it's killing it. And, um, I think Gary, there's only one way to celebrate this is, uh, I think we got to rank, you know, where does Spider-Man No Way Home fall in, in the rankings of all live action Spider-Man movies? And where do we, you know, just where do we think, where we think this ranking in general, um, you know, at this point, I think it's fitting that that we rank all movies live action movies we're leaving out animated because animated is a different category you yeah. can do stuff in animated right. movies that you can't do in live action yes um so, so we will not be mentioning into the spider verse in this video on the count the ranking that's on the ranking a, yeah. a whole nother category yeah that's a whole other thing rambling about when we started recording yes yeah exactly so we said that's much like batman animated series stuff yeah so yeah so this thing and so we figured the only way to celebrate is to just say hey good here, right. Here's our real pastor's rankings of Spider-Man No Way Home. It refuses to die. You know, we talked about ranking. We kind of went back and forth. We might as well do it um, really? because it doesn't want to, doesn't want to do it. So, Gary, good sir, I know you said probably best if you go first. Um, so, I guess we should go ahead and do that. We'll put you up here front and center, sir. And yeah. we are ranking the Tobys, the Andrews, and the Hollands. Where do these movies fall, oh, sir? Well, I'm, I asked to go first because I think my list is going to somewhat upset you. And okay. I think we should end the show with you telling me why you think I'm wrong. And you're the Spider-Man guy. You drop the knowledge. Um, so let's just get right to it. Number nine or number eight, uh, Spider-Man three. Mm -hmm. um, no shocker there. I've said it on this show a few times. One of my most disappointing uh, theater experiences. Um, not a fan of that movie. I think it's a complete mess. Um, number seven, the amazing Spider-Man two. Mm -hmm. um, don't think it deserves the hate that it gets, but when I'm ranking them, this is where it falls. Mm -hmm. um, and sorry, Andrew Garfield, you're coming in at number six at the, the Amazing Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. um, once again, I don't think you deserve all the hate. I think the wit that Andrew Garfield brings to Spider-Man is very is great. Um, but as these two movies are just on the bottom. 
Mm-hmm. And number five, I got the first Spider-Man. The first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man okay. coming in at number five. Um, saw it in the theater several times. Just I need to rewatch it, but it just that's where it ranks. This is where you're going to be upset. Number four, I got Far From Home. Yes, I have okay. Far From Home ahead of the original Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Um, just Jake Gyllenhaal, that movie, the story, um, and just where it went. It just felt like a big movie, and I got No Way Home there. And then I got Homecoming at number three. Uh, okay. Michael Keaton is a great villain. Tom Holland in his own movie, The Neighborhood, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. And then I got Spider-Man 2 at number two. Uh, okay. The best of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies, and one of the best comic movies of all time. I'll put it in there. But ranking out at number one, I did it. I've got it. No mm-hmm. Way Home is number one in my book. Uh, call it recency bias. Call it getting caught up in the hype. But I had to give it number one because mm-hmm. I do think one day we will we will put this movie in the same category as Infinity War, Dark Knight, Endgame, right mm-hmm. there as far as comic book movies. So hmm. there we go. Number one is all number right. One. Well, I think your bottom three, I have no issues with. That's pretty much where I had those movies. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think I think we're good um, on those three. Um, now, nah, me personally, I would put um, I would put Far From Home at you know right above Andrew Garfield's first one. Uh, Far From Home, I just was just it's just one of those like when I went back and watched it, I just wasn't as impressed the second, the third time watching it, um, mainly because it did nothing new. To me, Far From Home, when I watched it, Jake Gyllenhaal, absolutely fantastic as as Mysterio. Mysterio, one of my favorite Spider-Man villains, but again, mm-hmm. a rogue of villains for Spider-Man. So you have a lots of different favorites. Um, I thought he did great, but to me, the movie just didn't do anything to progress Spider-Man. It didn't do anything to progress his character or what he was going through. It was just like, this is just kind of what's going on. And the only thing, he, yeah, he was struggling with Tony Stark dying and such like that but it was just like he he wasn't any more spider-man like in no way home right he became spider-man i didn't see him grow in any way and i just felt like i'm just watching more of the same like it was fine i was just watching more of the same so i didn't really care for um care for that one so that's why next up which where am i at seven six five four is that right uh we had one two three we had nine wait eight so eight eight, seven six so five Far yeah. from home. Um, that's where I would. We're going to debate that far from home in a later episode. By the way, <laughs> fine by me. Because I have a rebuttal, but it. We'll wait. <laughs> we'll wait. Okay. Fine. Fine by me. Um, so that's. Anyways, that's where I would put. Um, far from home, which is fine. So I basically would just switch far from home and then the original Toby, Spider Man, right there. That's what I would put those two. Um, but I, again, I'm with you. Like that first Spider Man. Like I absolutely loved it. It was great, but it was very much. Um, a product of his time it's still it, it was an origin story normally origin stories unless you're like iron man mm-hmm. unless it's a movie like that like that's probably the only origin story that i would say is probably the best of anything that came after it uh, so but anyway so like that one didn't do that but it was great it got going what we needed um after that origin i would also i would also put i would put a uh, homecoming um right there at number three and then um because again I, it's funny like i remember watching it but then being like, I don't remember enjoying this as much as like I remember enjoying it. But what I still enjoyed and thought was the best part is still Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton as Vulture is still so good. And then any parts, any qualms that I had with that movie, Michael Keaton just saved it, <laughs> you know. And he took care of it. The rest of it. it's like, oh no, it's worth it because of him. And that's all there is. Um, and then Danny Glover and his parts too. So there's a lot of really good in, in that movie. And even though I don't, didn't enjoy it as much as I remember, it was still a lot of fun. And that's what I really liked about it. Um, and so, and this is where, and, and I know we might have to argue, but then I'll put No Way Home at two and Spider-Man okay. two at one. I was curious about that. Um, so I, I was going back and forth. And I just think for me, it's just like, when I think of Spider-Man two, some of the best action scenes in any comic book movie happened in Spider-Man two. I mean, that the whole, the whole subway train battle, good. that whole thing. I mean, it's still, it's still being studied. And film schools, at least I'm being told, it's still being studied for those who are in film schools, right? As like how to do a perfect action scene. I see videos of people just saying how this is like that scene alone is like just ties everything together and what that scene does. Um, And there's just so many of those iconic scenes, iconic action moments, iconic lines that come out of 
that movie. So that's why I ended up putting that where we're, we're far from where No Way Home, as much as I love that movie, it's hard for me to think of like an iconic scene. You, had, you know what I'm saying? Like it, to me, like an iconic action scene or anything like that, like it just, like I had a hard time finding it, but I felt like this movie, what No Way Home wasn't trying to be an amazing, like the best comic book movie. I think it was just trying to tell a great story that tied in with everything else, which that's why it's so good. You know, like, but it just wasn't like, well, I feel like Spider-Man 2 was like, we're trying to make an amazing movie that's about a comic book hero. And we're still trying to just make amazing cinema, you know, like, you know, where that had won. I can't remember which ones, but I remember that won some awards where I don't know what No Way Home will win awards. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So I think like Spider-Man 2 was just a better film as opposed to being like a, a better film as opposed to a good like Spider-Man movie. Um, and I, and I, and I was going back and forth. Like I really was, um, this is one, honestly, I was thinking about that. I think no way home will end up getting better depending on what they do next. That's I think a good point. I think okay. it's going to be one of those movies where Spider-Man two was great on its own. Like, okay. like what? Yes. It needed Spider-Man one to exist. So that could exist. But, it, but regardless of what happened after it, it was an amazing movie where Spider-Man home was no way home was great. But it could get better mm -hmm. because of what happens next because of what they did. And so, or it could get worse depending on, if they botch it, it could make No Way Home look stupid. And that's the thing. Let's not thing, do that, Marvel, please. Let's not do that. that. Yeah, let's do that. But that's, that's the thing. I'm like, I see the end of Spider-Man 2. Um, because Spider-Man 2 is a great movie on its own. Kind of like, I feel like Spider-Man 2 is kind of like the Dark Knight in that okay. trilogy. You know, yeah. like Spider Man, Spider -Man two, the other two, yeah, yeah, without the other two around it, and yeah, the first one was was great, wasn't as good as the second, the third one, you know, Dark Knight Rises was way better than Spider Man three. Spider Man three was crap, yeah, but like even Dark Knight Rises, oh. yeah, <laughs> but like Dark Knight Rises is a fantastic movie, yeah, but it wasn't as good as the Dark Knight, but it didn't matter because the Dark Knight still stands on its like I could watch the Dark Knight come into that movie, and it doesn't matter if I watch the first one or not. Yeah, you know, like it's not hinging on anything. I think it's. I think it's fair to say. I think Spider Man Two and Dark Knight, and they get the Shawshank Redemption treatment, which is when you're flipping channels. Back in the day, we used to flip channels. If Shawshank <laughs> was on, you're stopping to watch it. Same, yeah. and those movies fall in that category. And uh, I think yeah. No Way Home will fit in that category as well at some day. Um, but we're talking Spider Man Two. We're talking No Way Home. You're talking two really great movies. Wherever you yeah. rank them, you're. I mean, ob well, obviously nobody's wrong. This is a subjective. Uh, right. But, I mean, shoot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me, me being the Spider Man guy, those No Way Home and Spider Man yeah. Two are your top two Spider Man movies. Period. Yeah. Everything else kind of falls in line. Honestly, I think there's fine for room for debate on everything else below. Yeah, we can have them flipped. We can have a little debate on whichever one, but it's, to me, as long as you have those those two at the top, mm -hmm. I'm okay. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm however you flip them, they, I'm okay. I'm hoping well, what they do with Spider Man next, because you spoke to that, is I'm hoping that they will make the Holland trilogy of Spider Man movies. It will make make us appreciate them more because we'll mm -hmm. look at that as the. I think I, my hope is one day we'll have the Holland Spider Man origin trilogy, and mm -hmm. then the, and then the Holland neighborhood Spider Man trilogy, or whatever you want to call it. Right. Um, you know. Um, so yeah, let's just improve on it. And, and no way home is so good. It made me like those movies better. It mm -hmm. made me like Andrew Garfield's movies better, you know? Right. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, yeah. And which I, is I what, what uh, Spider-Man fans such as you, you guys got a lot to celebrate. Cause this, as much as we don't like Spider-Man three, I mean, these are some really great, really good movies. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Like there's, there's very few, there's no George Clooney moments, you know what I'm right. saying? Well, there is the dance in Tobey Maguire. Yeah, there is a dance in Tobey Maguire. Like that. But yeah. other than that. Yeah. I was wrong. Saying but that. thankfully, Sony has owned up to that. And yeah. they've made fun of it so much in yeah. other movies. Um, they yeah. make fun. Of, like, But the thing is, like to me, like even No Way Home, a lot of the great callbacks and stuff that they did in No Way Home was callbacks to Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Right. Like when he's talking about, man, I had this back thing and da-da-da. Mm -hmm. That was because he fell and he was like, my back, my back in, in Spider-Man 2. You know, like, I mean, it just, like, Doc Ock got brought back. He's one of the main guys because of Spider-Man 2, right? Obviously, Green Goblin was a big issue, yeah. but, you know, I mean, Sandman, he was there, but he took a back seat. He was there. You know, you know he was there, but he took a back seat. It was just like, we just kind of need him here, you know? So it's just like, 
a, a lot of a, like like to, like he like all that is because he's there you know like like spider-man 2 existed that's what holds that trilogy together for better or for worse on spider-man 3 um which also i'm just like man that that's why that's that's there and then yeah no way home improved on those characters but like you said it needed those movies to exist for this movie to be good yeah and so and that's and that's why it's like i got to give it to spider-man 2 you know that makes i get that i get that and i will say i do plan on buying the uh 4k trilogy set of the toe mcguire spider-man's mm, that's coming me out too. late january so and i haven't watched those movies in a long time i'm gonna rewatch them when i buy it and maybe this will change maybe after reviewing those it'll change my ranking a little bit but uh yeah as now yeah i think the only thing that would change if it does would be the spider-man 2 because right. i think the original spider-man or spider-man 3 i i think you're good with where yeah. you had them yeah you know it's just like i don't but if, if it's going to change it'll yeah. just be at the top i really i really thought having Far from home ahead of spider-man one was going to cause you distress i was wrong yeah no well because it, it is it's an origin story i loved it but yeah. the, but like it was just it did what it needed to do it had to start off the trilogy you know it did. it did and it was yeah it did great things at the time that that like blew your mind kind of thing you know but no mm-hmm. one's still talking about the original everyone's still talking about spider-man 2 because that did things that just it was so good that we have to continue to study it to continue to make great movies in the future so that that it just you know kind of like the dark knight again that's why i put the two together people are still studying the dark knight for what it did you know so that's why the, those the fact that we mention the dark knight pretty much every episode we do <laughs> no matter what we're talking about know. we'll probably mention the dark knight during scene two review at some point <laughs> i know right that just says how good that movie is you know? yeah exactly Folks, so that uh, let us know in the chat the comments whatever you want to call it how you rank these movies Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. Lots to talk about on Spider Man, and it's continuing to make money. And uh, I don't see why I won't make even more. Yep. Let us know your rankings. Let us know your thought. Do you think it'll reach two billion? Let us know. Yeah. And and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say, if you're watching this and you saw it in a theater, go out and buy it when it comes out on Blu-ray or 4K. Mm-hmm. Not digital. Go buy yeah. it. Go buy it. Let's let's break some records there too. Heck yeah. Tell Target, Best Buy, Amazon, whatever. They got to keep stocking the shelves with those because we want our movies. And give us back our big movie aisle. Stop Please. loading it up with books. Oh, uh, we can't. We can't go there. Okay. Another I show. Gotta, we, another show. We got kids. Dinner's got to <laughs> be had. I, we, that's, yeah. No. Yeah. Cool. So. All right. Well, we'll see you, everybody. Right. See you, everybody. Have a good day.